this video is for beginners and in this video we are going to learn how to take a picture from this and convert it to this right here in Pizzle Lab. so just go ahead download Pizzle Lab application the link is in the video description just get it and follow me step by step as i take you through this like i said this video is for beginners if you don't know how to do this then this video is for you right so without further ado let's jump into it really quick good so the first thing that we're going to do is to delete this test over here and from here we can start importing our shape so i'm going to tap on this then go to shapes right so i just have to play with the size of this shape of like how i want it okay so let's say i'm kind of okay with this size i'll just tap on a check mark and then i'll start arranging my shape from here i just have to make duplicates of these shapes okay so i'll tap on copy have a duplicate of it put it here tap on copy again have a duplicate put it here tap on copy bring a duplicate down here and do the same thing over here now i just want to use the grid tool to make some kind of alignment over here right so let's see how this is going to work quickly all right so i'm just going to apply alignment over here so that my elements are well arranged okay i want them to be of the same height so that when you bring in the picture nothing will happen okay so we also have to make sure that the size or the space in between the shapes are kind of similar right so let's work on that quickly and see so let me use the position tool to actually push it closer like this and push this one too closer again so it's all about uniform okay uniformity everything should be uniform nothing should be bigger than the other okay and i think this is almost okay good this this is okay for us okay so what we have to do now is to actually tap on a layer icon then we have to merge all these shapes okay so i'm just going to select everything over here now and tap on merge then merge it merge everything like this so at this point we are pretty much done now having selected or highlighted the whole merge shapes like this what we have to do now is to move to the texture tool right here tap on it and go to your gallery then you pick the image that you want to use so in this case i'm going to use one image right here okay so i'm going to go with this one first and let's see how it's going to appear over here okay so this is how it's going to appear in this frame that we just inserted now you can equally change the background of it if you don't want this particular one you can always change the background color of it okay and see how it's going to look so this is how this particular image is going to look when you actually put it into this shape so the thing i want you to actually pick from this tutorial is that you first of all have to put the shapes together and match the shape once you match the shapes then you can go ahead and apply the image that you want to use apply the image as a texture now if you apply the image and the image is not well fitted into the the shapes then you can actually use the scale option over here to play with it so you get a perfect view as you want okay so that is simply how to do this and of course if you want a different format as well you can equally do that okay let's say you just want three lines you can do that so i'm just going to do a rough work over here quickly to demonstrate this for you so we have the shape one shape two and i'm going to make a duplicate to have shape three over here okay i just want them to be of similar size okay i think this is okay so i have to match them as well like this so once i match them i have to go to the tessia tool again and you know select the image that i want to use so in this case i'm going to use um this indian footballer uh, footballer's picture right so let's see how it's going to appear now one thing you have to also take notes of is how you crop the image okay you may not get a perfect one 
just like that okay it's a probability you may not get it so once you've done it first and you're not getting it just come back and work on how you crop your image okay so let's go with this one and see how it's going to appear over here now you can see that it's not appearing well so we have to use the scale to the uh, just like I've shown you in few minutes ago okay we have to use the scale tool like this and bring it down now I think it's pretty much cool the person's face is showing clearly okay so pretty much this is how to actually pull these kind of images into shapes like this and I do hope you find this video helpful and if you find it helpful don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to turn on that notification and so that each and every time I upload a new video you get to receive notification and of course this goes through here and I hope to say in my next video. Bless up.